Hello and welcome to this video. I want to go over 10 misconceptions about AI art. And be correct, it's more AI rendering art, so it's a creating. Um, before we even begin, I know that people will start posting, I agree, disagree, it's fine. You know, I want to listen to your um, side. What do you think about this? You can answer on any of those topics, but please keep in mind, this is totally subjective. It's meaning it's what I think, it's how I feel. If you have a different opinion, please share. If you have valid facts and everything, please put it in. I will be very interesting to see about this. So right now, what I want to do is going over 10 um, different points that I think it's interesting to be addressed and say my point. Um, obviously, it's way more than 10. I try to summarize of them, put it there. But overall, let's do this way. And first, of course, it's come up the biggest one. It's everyone was put it. It is not an art if AI generate the image. So if you look on the images when it's produced, it all is different. Um, what do people say? It is not created by humans it's created generated by ai so on this case because computer created it's not an art okay we won't go in definition what art it is but let me put it this simple process and uh, ai does not create it actual from beginning ai waiting on an input from the artist so artist or person first need to think inside the head imagine what they want to see so it's not um kind of sit down and randomly type words i try to do this sometimes come with funny and actually that is what's giving me different ideas <laughs> created total random generated strings who cop and try to process but realistically speaking and majority is what people are acting you sit down you imagine in your head you creating first as a human inside your head result that you want to see in your work. Next, your step, you need to convert, translate from your imagination to the words. Surprisingly, but majority of the people is not English speaking. So for us, I need to translate. I needed to make a work inside my head to translate from my native Russian language or from my idea to find right words, English syntax and things to put it this right string beside when we're putting right string to this it does require specific formatting and it's all different for each different engine we're using DALI, mid journey stable diffusion disk diffusion wombo anything it requires some special combination position on board so it's required learning how to communicate with machine so it is not this and one main thing to understand it was created idea before in head of the human the human is think what he want to create next he translate to the words and fit in machine and beside that machine what do we call or computer programming it's not something magic that's sitting that was developed by thousands and thousands of different programmers who write the as community code application it's written beside that the application is also accessing to the cloud of the data as a reference reference for the images and that was created by artists next millions literally millions of the people was tagged these um, images with properly tag so ai know what it is actually showing on our images for recognition software so if you look even how it's work and we'll come back to this a little bit later, but you can see it is need understand. And first it's creating from random noises. So it's not the blending. We'll go to this later, but it's expect the prompt. Okay. Expect the idea of what to do from the human. Okay. This is acting as a tool. Same when I do with 3d application, I create a model of 3d, but the computer will render from different sides or animate as i tell because i don't necessarily create that angle of animations if for example i put a figure in 3d art yes and i rotate my camera around i just set beginning and end point 
I don't create anything other points computer created for me created this AI animation and the similar things computer created those stages need to understand it is just a tool tool to express express your imaginations by using words into visual art and it is and does not do by itself it these come up with a lot of philosophical and other questions and i don't think we can answer them right now but i think biggest misconception thinking that ai somehow sitting on its own and creating this art it is not it is involved actually quite a bit pre-processing it wasn't be possible even five years ago from what we're doing right now because computing power because programming what people create on the back because millions of people have said before tagging these images and all this stuff and again that is process of creativity just to using different tool to express what imaginations inside the human mind so another misconception that is a lead from first or they all kind of link together it is it is so simple it is not an art even it's not even work because you just type text and receiving your image you don't have it no effort no work to done and because you have it no effort and work it must be nothing it does not work anything worth anything or so on so that what's wrong about this approach the one you thinking because it is seems like easy you don't see on top how a system work or anything it's give you perception it's easy let me put it this way when it was traditional photography um, and digital cameras start coming many photographers says oh no look on this now the cameras come it's not art anymore because people don't need a lot of film don't need process it just click click and you have your result you don't need set aperture all the shutter speed you just it's a it is not art anymore because it take away all this actually not it is remove that unnecessary steps for the people to uh, spend time have you ever done this thing try to prepare to do something like artwork and you clean up your and you okay let's put it this way you start to painting okay but before paint you see your messy room so you start clean up room you put it this you put palette you bring all the stuff set up your uh, easel put it uh, canvas prepare all the stuff time when you're done your creativity is gone because you wasted on other things so what it does all of these things it's removing this unnecessary step that you needed like digital media I remember when Photoshop come people are saying oh it's not art because you don't use the real oils you use canvas you don't feel the brush you do this okay I understand physical experience but again it is removing this unnecessary steps you needed to express express your vision express person with photography let's put it this way when the all cameras start coming on iPhones or phone and whatever digital you, people start saying it's not art because it's so easy just point click and in fact actually you need to less work by taking photo on digital camera than render AI image because then you just need to take camera you need push it button and what's happening the computer take computer inside the camera take care of on what ISO set shutter speed what white balance properly set how to process how to crop zoom um, how to save how to put it out with color space and so it, take care of on everything in many cases you can after just resize it so you don't need even frame properly many people don't do this they just point at one click not even type strings so in this case you actually do more work by typing in string and as related to first you actually need imagine first what you want with many times with cameras what's happening it is reactive you go you see something pull up camera push button down until you took a photo of something you're not actually thinking about what you in many cases you may think oh I want to take selfie or whatever so you kind of imagine but many times you just walk you take moment picture it's mean it's reactive with a AI what you're doing with a text you're putting in so on first case it is not as easy as what we think already exists next things um, 
you need actually learn how to boot a text string properly. Some give you much easy variations and it's kind of like Night Cafe, Wombo or different services where they hide the stuff behind. You just type a text, but you still need to select what style you want it. You still need to kind of give it some option that's in the format. For example, this is a mid journey format and you can say you give it command what you want to do. Next, you give it if you want the reference to images. Also, you have it a text and text is very tricky because it's actually I have it in videos how to set up the text prompt because text prompt and right now it's work in English only. So it does not take other languages besides I need to translate from my language to English to do the stuff, but it is need special format because otherwise it's come up unexpected results. So you, to express whatever have it in your mind, you need to understand you need to work with a language you actually need created. And after this, you can pass options. And this is format is just for the mid journey. If you work with DALI, stable diffusion, disk diffusion, and so on, it's totally different. Disk diffusion, it is even way more different because in disk diffusion, you actually need to be programmer in many cases to understand how all these libraries, what does the library mean? how they connect, how they work. So it's not the just click button and push. Stable diffusion, you can even install on your machine, but then you need it even more to know what to do. So that if you think it is, look, it's easy and it is in some level, but you need to understand it's a multiple layers. It's like in a Shrek says it's ogre, you know, who have multiple layers, cake, onions, whatever you want to do, same relations but point is this it is more and more complex inside that you think it's what um, exists it's not just a point and click the button another misconception is that when you create image it's ready to go you don't need to do anything you just render image and so ready to go. That is actually not true. A lot of time, least for me, and I know many other artists, when you render image, you hit kind of look okay, but you still see AI does add some elements that don't you <laughs> want it. So you end up retouching, removing some parts, you adding special coloring because color is not almost never it's precisely what I wanted because it's AI render. So you visions you can add some more um, effect to this you know to create the image in the end you want it so it's a retouching it is one way another one's image that come up it is most time very small size so you need to use it some other application or somehow you need upscale this is for example the topaz gigapixels i'm using but it is let me upscale because if I don't upscale the images in many applications going 1024 by 1024, which is very, very small. It's not cropped properly and you cannot print this. Well, you can print, but it will be bad resolution. So you need to do a lot of steps. Of course, some um, generators now understand this and they um, creating now you can upscale like with Dali out painting and so on. You can have it a bigger size, but it's still even with large size because how computing time and all the stuff working, it is small images. And then you need to upscale them. You need probably crop and format to properly format. You want to go ahead and uh, retouching them, add some colorings, add some different elements to this. So you can actually have it result as you envision in the end. Of course, if you like it, you can go use it straight out. But most of the people who are using artists, they are doing post process afterwards. So this is misconception that say you don't need to do anything. You don't, but mostly will do. You will still post processing. Okay, another misconception. You're not actually creating, you're stealing another people work. And this is based because when you use it stylization to specific artists, it's look like a work of this artist. And many times you're thinking, oh, they just take the, that image, copy elements from this and put it there on. So let's go put it, 
little bit to clarify. So first, let's look right here how it's actually work. And this is help us to understand. First, it is creating random generated image and random generated image is made by the Perlin noise and noise applied or different ways. But generally, it's just a noise map. Okay, nothing there. Then it's you also put it your text prom. Actually, let's correct text prom will um, trigger random generate image with random seed, but it won't be related at this point to the text prompt. So next it's going, and this is again, this is super simplified, a very simplified uh, diagram I made it. So at least kind of understand how it's work. Okay, next it's going to special mode. It's called clip or um, for easy to understand. Let's put it, it's a black box where image to compare text string to the image. It's also decoding the text string, decoding and put it properly weights or whatever. For example, if you used commas or like a blue doll on a red ball, for example, you can put this one and it's try to figure out what positioning everything assigned weight and created a matrix 3D actually it's more the multi-dimensional matrix where it's tried to work. And we won't go in all those details, but general it is says, does this image resemble text it, we have? It's all what it does. Okay, next it's going in a loop where is with the disco diffusion, it's try to reduce noise to add details. Another ones work a little bit different, but it's actually think about this. What it does, it's look on a cloud, okay? Like your kids, you look on a cloud and try, it says, does it look like a camel? And of course, uh, it's try to adjust and go back and forward. You notice you have to reference on top. Reference, it's what many people think it's copying some artist. Okay, let's say this way. If I, you never saw a camel in your life and I come and I ask you to draw a camel, what it's come up? I don't know, you may be assuming it's an animal, maybe it is a rock or whatever, and you draw something that you don't know. Okay. What if I show you just one picture of the camel? What's happening? You'll draw camel based on this picture. It will be look very similar to this picture. Okay. Because you work as a reference. Anything in our life, any artist, period, any artist, the work by the life experience and the references they receive in the life is what we do. We sometimes can add imagination, some elements over, and actually AI does way better this in some cases, but it's all with the reference. This is a reference. If you remember a little before I show right here, this all this clip settings, all these libraries, this is our reference and reference can be related to the words because words we need to identify like library uh, where people tag different elements and says hey does it image resemble this or it can reference the styles and depend on uh, what you're using a dali um, mid journey stable diffusion, and so on all these different services they some access different uh, libraries even when you create your with disco diffusion you can specify which libraries you want to use and this is important reference. This is also what makes distinguish between different services. But generally, it's what does. It's go right here. It's a denoising, add details, look on reference, says, does it look like this? No, and it does this thousands and thousands times per second. I mean, it's so fast. And this is where the benefit, where is it look to us like a magic, but in reality, it's a very hard work. It's a very intensive computing time when it's go back and forward creating destroying all this stuff to try to figure out does it look close enough okay so this is a huge cycle happening right here um, notice i put it one blur before and this is a little bit for more advanced explaining but this is about 30 percent whatever it's how the animations happen how you can extend and so on so it does not even start from the pearl it's have some basic start and go from there but point is this, this is when magic, magic in a quotes happen because it is deep learning, it is a programming and this is element. It's where the thousands of the programmers spend the time, write the code. Millions of the people was tagging images. Thousands of the artists created public domain images so other ones can access and look on this. 
so after this it's creating for our result that we can see so in this case you can see how the process is going okay now because of this reference it what people think you can steal or feel like stealing or copying but in other cases people who go and paint in a Rembrandt styles does look like Rembrandt because it is style so another one's when we speak about stealing it's when people going to the mid journey and they look on the, or any other ones a library doesn't matter they look on this and it says hey look here's a prompt can I use this prompt yes you can and this is need to understand it's a public domain image it's mean it's a community collaboration work it's where we all together if you're going to my profile and it's when I especially tell people it's not the log it's it's always open and you guys can go check all prompts that I'm creating I actually encourage you to follow me and as an artist you can set follow me if you need it copy prompt create your own edit I also have it my own channel on discord that you more than welcome join and post it your work right there I believe it that knowledge and art creation it's good it's promote very good behavior in the people it is more creative than destructive okay sharing is kind of good with this um, stealing you always will have people who do illegal stuff you always will have it people who try to steal money from your pocket and other ones they we won't go into philosophical why it's happening multiple reasons could be but let's say it's have this but behavior of the you should never ever align yourself and set ideal for the bad behavior don't look what is the worst don't compare says but they doing why I cannot do always align you to the best like in a sports you know you align yourself to the people who are doing the best who run faster who jump higher and all sort of things so same with art align yourself to the best artists be inspired to this so the stealing it is bad okay it is currently state with copyrights AI you can actually take another people print it and make money on this but it doesn't mean it's the right things to do so just be simple and community is actually very strong and I personally have experience when people took my work and tried to sell sell and when I posted on a community response was unbelievably I almost need to slam them down so nobody trolling the poor person and other things for that but it usually it's very solid very nice community about this because be respectable to other works so another one big one come up very often it is says it's not ethical to sell AI render art okay it is lying to the people and all the stuff and you saw that some news come up recently where people says hey the art AI art won first prize and everything so let me put this way at the beginning deceiving is not nice lying is not nice selling work that you are created with the, using AI render is totally okay again that is subjective you can do with philosophical philosophical questions go on philosophy and all this stuff but my personal view I don't see any different from you taking cell phone push just one button take picture and sell this okay or you thinking about what you want to do express in words paying for this service render this image and selling okay for example with a mid journey if we look on the art created by mid journey other artists whatever if you created your own art by even assignment you must buy the even legal rights with mid journey as example again this is you must purchase you might pay for the service so you're actually paying to use this surface service the render image and when you paid you have a rights to your image to commercially use or sale so it's meaning you cannot just steal somebody work from a mid journey and sell it because by that definition you cannot do this it's illegal based on that term of usage okay um, overall global copyrights it's a little bit gray still be about AI render this is not copyrighted so on we spoke about this a little bit before this but this is legally right you can do this okay so you also spend time effort 
sometimes people may say hey why the other people why are you selling it so people can go and create themselves yes people can go and create the text and that's fine with this however most people won't do this majority of the people just like an image and they want this image so you provide for them service by selling and creating and the first time when people start printing books people says no you cannot do this it's a little bit because you start everyone can have a book you know how you cannot do this book miles writing by hands but the distribution same with art digital art when come up first people was freaking out about hey um how you can sell you cannot sell digital art because everyone can access and see this art they can print it by themselves no people don't print themselves people still want to go like on the etsy or other services printify other ones and print and buy it from there what people already created multiple reasons for this one of the biggest reason if you want to have it a cookie you don't go and build farming equipment plow your ground put it seed inside wait till wheat is grow harvest milk creating milk equipment next you need to do bakery create your bakery create um, oven create baking equipment go create sugar <laughs> harvest sugar from honey or from plants okay extract this mix two together create this and bake final this one cookie hopefully it's work well by the way you need also eggs and chicken and so on and process you just go in a bakery and get a cookie you don't have it build all this process if you think it's easy for you to do something it does not mean for the billions of the people the same way easy to do okay this is from selling so you provide service for the people people buying and the best thing to answer your question it's look when people vote by the dollar or vote by the buying your art if people buying your art it's meaning it's in demand people want it and people willing to pay for this one thing keep in mind deceiving is not good if you says and say hey i draw this by the hand i spent 20 hours you know to create this art but in reality it was ai render it's a deceiving it's lying okay and this ethical question about this however if you says i create ai and i retouch reformat after post-processing that is telling true you don't necessarily need to go run around and post it on your t-shirt you are sell visual art and people really in many cases they don't sorry but they don't care how it was created they want to see and purchase end result and this is what you're providing the end result if people like it they will vote for this with a dollar and so far people like it and people purchase the people purchase my art when I created people purchase my AI generated art when I created they purchase my photo so people is voting for this with their dollar they're showing if they like it or not do I hide how I create images no you can go check my Facebook images that I posted there and actually some of the images where I posted there I openly says hey I created this with this application this website and this and you can check those posts people says hey can I buy print from you just right there when I already tell how I created and I create even videos showing step by step and I put link before for those who are interested step by step how you can come register your account set up and do all the stuff what text string you need used I even put it my text strings what I'm using in, in my post it's my personal you don't need to do this but again even with these people still asking can I buy this art and this is will showing people respect you respect your research respect everything and same like cookie they don't want to go and render this they just want to buy art want create the uh, obtain the print we won't touch nfts now and everything in this case but here's things i don't think it's not an ethical to sell your work i think it's just fine you sell ai render art you create it by the rights you can do this by right of usage of with the services they've provided even dali originally says you cannot now dali says yes sell do whatever you want it and that is a point you are legally can do this and ethnically as well you can do this 
If you disagree with this comment or you think it's something wrong or you have your own opinion, support this, <laughs> disagree, whatever you want, please comment. Okay, put it there. I want to see your point. I want to see what do you agree with this and what do you think disagree with this. So you are not an artist if you are using AI renderings, if using AI created artwork. Okay. That is one of the biggest BS. You know what I mean? It's a just a, I feel the people scared of this technology. They fear about it. They don't understand how it's work and I don't understand what steps taking on this. Okay, this is personal. Most time, all of these things coming from fear for your own place. Okay, same when I creating video tutorials, I create over 3000 of this, you know, you can go to my um, Geek at Play website and see it. most of them available for free. And when I start selling, uh, people come and ask me how I record them, how I do this. And you know, I never fear about this. I always even tell all applications, every step I'm taking to create this. Competition is good. It's allowed us to grow. It allows us to progress and also forced us to learn new stuff. The, I think this statement is come from the artist, or let me put it this way, artist with the quotes, or other artists who fear of competition, who fear of new stuff. Okay, let's put it this way. Do you think the photo that somebody took is art? Do you think just put it phone and push the button is art? Do you think when somebody put it his own poop inside the can and seal it is art? If you think somebody take all this Instagram posting of somebody else did it and sell this, it is art. If you think that is art, or it's not art that you're wrong because other people who pay millions and millions of dollars for this think it is art and the ones obtain art is a subjective it's based on individual view i know some abstract artists i just don't understand it doesn't mean it's not art it's just not art in my eyes okay i think can of poop is not an art in my eyes it just crap can it okay and it's up to you what you think about this. However, do you think I'm artist? I can show you a lot of my oil painting. I can show you my um, lot of digital production I done, published books and other stuff. Some people say I'm artist. Some people may say I'm not artist. It's up to your decision. But I think when you're using AI to express your inside thoughts, it is an art understand the process said before first first step before you do you need think what you wanted you need imagine in your head what image you want to have it next you need go type in a computer or sorry you need translate from your imagination to the word expression next you need put it in a specific language understand how it's work inside the program and a program which generated created by thousands of people millions of the contributors a huge collaboration that after this application need produce the image based on all these millions of people collaboration together produce the result i think it's art it's not art maybe of the single person and but it's community art okay it's a creation and you need to think about this so if you think that you're not artist when you create art, I think it's wrong. I think it's based again from the fear of misunderstanding of the technology and mis fear of the future and the fear of the changes. Art can be anything. Art is what other people think art and art, it is your internal expression of ideas. Okay, another one's um, come up and we kind of already almost covered this. It says it does not truly created art. It just take uh, images from other artists is blending them together. So I kind of cover this, but I want specifically just focus on this to explain. This statement come from misunderstanding how the technology work and tell you true at the beginning when I start looking, I thought same way. It's why I put it there because I'm not alone. 
because at the beginning we think it's taking all images from different artists and blend them together. It's how we done some compositing in Photoshop. I have a different images that I took photos or I render and I blend them together. If you're interested in how the digital compositing work, I will put link below or right on the top corner that you can click and look on some of my work of work of digital compositing, which is kind of very fun, but it is blending them together. So on this AI, it's work different. Okay, it does not blend. It's using a reference to inspiring, but it does create it from scratch. So what I was meaning by scratch, it is creating like this a map with a just digital noise. So and it's randomly selected. If you're familiar with how the random work, you know that is a Perlin noise random created. If you don't, you can go in Photoshop, go filters and uh, render and create clouds if you want it. That is a random, random noise, Perlin noise. Okay. So what it does, it's create the Perlin noise for and after using another applications that is try to and i'm speaking about disk diffusion clay work clip work will be different but let's put it this way with disk diffusion it's diffusing it's a removing noise reduction and it's actually what's happening um going first and says does it look like something if you remember a long time ago there was very familiar you're going and image tags and says hey how many even right now, I think still Google does how many lights you see on this picture, how many traffic stops, how many boats, how many, and you just select and you identify and it's split on um, squares. So what this does, it's from millions and millions, if not the billions of the data collecting from different ways, tagging from the identifying, tagging by people in the um, like clip arts and other ones people put tags on the images all the stuff it's multiple ways it's collect this data and what is happening it's going there and says this is text is there do you see this text on this image and if it's seeing it's continue to remove noise and do so on if not it's try to recreate so and it's going in a loop and of course it's going to reference all this multiple different libraries go back and forward in this cycle by thousands and thousands time try to randomly create first and when it's get look of something like this it's keep on um perfecting this and go in circles and creating this image and it's creating again from the pearl noise it's like you looking in the clouds and you see some shapes in the clouds it's what it does it's try to find those shapes in the end after all it done it will give you result this image its image will resemble some artist if you specify it. It's resemble photo, style, coloring, whatever you specify, because it is a reference to that information you provide, but it is not blending. It is creating from the scratch. It is creating from random noise. And that is another answer why sometimes you take exactly the same TX string, put it in exactly the same engine, and you have a total different result because we have different random seed. Some of them allowed you as a parameter, use the same seed to create same noise, same pattern. Then you may have it something with similar kind of effect, except that um, random will only going for the pearl noise, not for the smaller noise details, but generally you will have it about similar image. And that is how it's work. It is, um, does not necessarily copy other images it is inspired and based on this same things if you draw the picture and i tell you draw in the rembrandt style somebody comes and says hey look it's another rembrandt pictures even his dad somehow he created but the idea you inspire by the style you are not rembrandt you just admire the style and if you do by other artists you inspired ai inspired this it does not copy those elements it's inspired and creating base it on the influence of specific style and other stuff. So another misconception it is when people say all AI renders, all AI services the same render, and it's based mostly when I tell, hey, um, I done this in Dali, I done this, and then so why are you using this? Why you just don't create in one? And it's fine, you know, if you like to prefer one, but I like to explore. And tell you true, they're all actually different. They gave it me total different result. 
and this again is based on the not just the, how the engine inside work because some like um, the DALI does not for example use disk diffusion is a different engine and so on the beside that even you going can you program by yourself or a disk even disk and diffusion it's all different different options different clip settings different all the stuff you can have libraries that translate text um, put it weights on a cast matrix put all the stuff on a text otherwise render access to specific render and how the loops work anyway we won't go in this all details but it is a different and if you look even as a result you look what is DALI produced result uh, the mid journey versus what is a DALI produce the result okay versus for example this is some DALI what is producing versus what is disk diffusion produce versus stable diffusion uh, what is the night cafe produced what is a wombo dream whatever produced all these different services online whatever they produce all and tell you true i receiving daily i receive an invitation to new uh, online services um, just side note many of them are kind of shady they're just going for your money they don't really even produce but they give it trials so anyway tons of different services and they actually produce the different result in some cases somewhat look maybe similar but they work differently so i highly recommend for you to go and explore them some people i know who just like wombo and dreamer and think it's the best things they tried other ones they don't like how sharp or how noisy it's look so they prefer more smooth and other things find a um, service that work for you in yours and most of them will give you some free time and give you some free uh, render so you can try it and if um, any service the provider says hey pay money before you start it usually I just avoid those because I want to see you know I want to see what this actually engine can do before I commit and do I pay it yes like for example I have it purchase well, I'm paying for the mid journey service so I can go ahead and create it and if you interest them highly recommend to get it $30 with them because it is a little bit expensive but you can render unlimited everything and you can do this for the month after you burn out all your desires you know you can switch down or go with no paying at all um, Dali a little bit different and I use this one because I'm going and usually on Dali I'm just purchasing the credits to use Okay, I'm also um, paying for the art breather because I like with art breather how it's uh, generate characters I can animate and do other stuff so yes I do paid for a lot of services that I'm using but you don't need to because many of them will provide for free like um, night cafe studio example they actually can go there you can purchase create it, but you can still render I'm not big fan of some stuff something they're doing very good stylization other ones that's why I use it but for example this one they give you five credits so you can all have it a day and you can go and create your images there you don't need necessarily pay for them uh, to use it however my personal view because I'm the geek I'm a programmer by daytime um, I would I like you know when I have a paycheck and when I can uh, feed my family and everything and beside those services the people who is programming people who creating stuff who need paying for the service and everything because nothing in this world come for free okay you pay one way or another and for me to subscribe to pay them it is my way to support the wages to help them um creating new products and everything so it's the reason why i'm purchasing paying credits and other stuff because i think it's very nice to support the other programmers but generally you don't need it you can go and try it so if you think the all AI rendered the same, it's not, it's wrong. They have a different styles, they look totally different. So go experiment, find them. I will put it below in description, the links to the services that I tried, that I experiment, go ahead, play with them, um, see how they work for you. If you have more questions, how they work videos, I will have a playlist link, um, and top pop up so you can go and check all of my videos about AI creating stuff where we review some services and I show how to use that and how to be get best for money you're paying you know because it is hard to earn money and you want to have the best service without wasting them 
Okay, so the another one is kind of funny. Our number nine, it is the artist of doom. AI will kill all creativity. It's make artists poor, go on the streets begging for the money. The art is dead. The artist is doomed. The world will collapse. It's all incoming. AI take it over everything. We're all slave. We cop Neo. You know, kind of like this. Okay. Uh, this is kind of funny to me because this is again based from misunderstanding what it is, how it's work, and how to use. This is just another tool tool in a pocket of the digital artist of any artist to create art to create concept art to get inspired okay you can use it for so many things it save your time and it's a tool that saves your time and it's what i look many times when i was going over plugins whatever i used in my why i select them does it save time for me does it make me create more or less this tool yeah, when I look what is creating, it is energizing me. It's ask me, it's prompt to create more, to create interesting things, to explore, to create different art. This is what I like about. Okay, that is what creating this special. It's not a death. It is another big beginning in creativity, big beginning in artwork. And as, as an artist, you can ignore it or you can learn and use it just like another tool to create in great art, okay, to create great expression and everything. And it is um, lead us to number 10, which is tell, if you wait, it will go away. It's like NFT or other things. It will slow down and gone and people back to normal self. No, it's not go away. It's will getting better, it's getting bigger. Okay, and you have a choice. You can join, learn this tool if you're a digital artist and utilize in your work. Or you can wait and get behind other people who will use this. Again, fine client and client does not really care what tools you was using, how you created. This some people may say, not every everyone, but majority they don't care. They care about end result. And if you work with uh, like a studios, creating posters, you creating books and other stuff, there may come up question with copyrights, which will resolve it hopefully soon enough. But majority of them, they look on the bottom point. How many hours you spend? How much money you spend on this? How many times? And how does it look? Okay. And as studios, I know some people may say, hey, experience, experience, what is my experience based? My experience based on being art director in a film productions by the creating images, my experience based on concept art, my experience based on build commercial posters, book covers and everything. If you're interested, if that is not just words, type in Google search Vladimir Chopin and see what I'm done. See what I'm done based on uh, my size, IMDb publishing on everything more than welcome okay the best if you look what i done what i done with my um art with my work and decide on this if i'm telling true or not but you know it's up to you my point is this it's here to stay one way or another it's here to be another mo very powerful tool in the tool belt of the digital artist and i highly recommend for you to learn how to use it to embed it in your work and continue growing this way. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you find this entertainment interesting. If you have any questions, suggestions, or some ideas, please post it in comments. I will highly appreciate if you subscribe to the channels, click this notification button, push thumbs up, give me promote my channels and YouTube, um, all that stuff. Yes, I do make, I do monetize my money, so I'm making some recouping for the time I'm spending to say, uh, share my talent and you more than welcome if you're interested check my other videos i have thousands thousands of videos that i share my knowledge and i do believe it that knowledge should be free should be distributed because i'm looking forward to the people who can create not destroy thank you again for watching this video have fun time of creating